Well, who are the key members in this new cabinet? Well, of course, we have the Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, who just over a year ago was not even a politician at all. And he is again Prime Minister. He has presided over the very intense negotiations to form this cabinet. And we have some key ministers here, including Roberto Gualtieri, who is a longtime European MP and the head of the European Union's, the European Commission's uh, Finance Committee. So he has a great deal of respect. He will be playing an important role uh, in the formation of the budget. Uh, also, quite a, a bit of controversy about the appointment of Luigi Di Maio as the Foreign Affairs Minister. He's a university dropout. He might be the head of the Five Star Movement, but uh, he, people make jokes about his Italian, let alone his other languages. So, uh, concern about his lack of experience for this kind of job. Uh, but a varied cabinet, the youngest ever uh, elected or uh, formed in Italy. Uh, the average age is around 47. Half the ministers come from the PD, the Democratic Party, the other half from Five Star, and seven of these new cabinet members are women. They are likely to meet for the first time tonight, and then we will see a vote of confidence which these parties are likely to win in both houses of parliament early next week. Josephine, just again to remind everyone, the Five Star Movement and the Democratic Party were political opponents uh, not that long ago. Is this new coalition, this new cabinet going to work? Well, there's plenty of speculation about how long this is going to last. For now, these two parties, long-time bitter enemies uh, with some divisions over various policies, including security, immigration uh, and the high-speed rail link between uh, Turin and Lyon, uh, many differences, but uh, they're also facing internal divisions within their own parties. The one thing that keeps them together for now is uh, their united opposition to the return of Matteo Salvini, the head of the League. We know that if an election was hap would happen tomorrow, he is likely to win because he has around 32% support in the electorate. So these parties feel that they will have to hold it together for now. They want to get through the budget process and come up with something that uh, is going to work for Italy and restart Italy with uh, some new ideas and some passion and some innovation, which it badly needs right now because it's teetering on the brink of recession. But longer term, no one's quite sure how long this coalition can hang together.